Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Miller Bro. Welcome to today's video. Um, I mostly just want to talk about the release dates and such for the uh, upcoming Pokemon games of Arceus and the Diamond and Pearl remakes because I've seen a lot of concern very specifically towards Arceus on Twitter. So let me just kind of talk about everything hopefully relatively quickly and I apologize if this drags on for a little too long. I'll just run release dates by you guys really quickly in case you don't know or if you haven't seen the tweets. Um, November 19th is the current day set for the DP remakes. Uh, January 28th of next year is set to be the release date for Arceus. Arceus obviously isn't getting the treatment that uh, Sword and Shield did in 2019 where the games were released on November... November... <laughs> 15th a month before Christmas games have like companies have a really bad habit of releasing games that aren't finished because they want it set for they want the copies out and on the shelves and available on the store and everything before Christmas to try to you know maximize their profits and then they're like fuck it we'll fix it later that's kind of what happened with Sword and Shield if I remember correctly Sword and Shield wasn't released in the best condition it didn't feel finished when people got it it was kind of a mess i mean they've made it better since then with you know uh they put out updates and dlc i will never credit a company for making a game better through dlc if you're spending you know 60 dollars on a game or if you're in canada you're spending 80 dollars on a game if i have to pay more money to make your game better it's not a good game <laughs> it's real it's an unenjoy it's it's a non-enjoyable game for me it's bad all right, there's no reason I have to spend extra money to make your game fucking worth anything. Uh, but with Arceus, I feel like they're... A, we still have several months of, before it gets released. Um, B, the fact that they're pushing it to January gives me some hope that they're not pushing it and rushing it to get it for uh, Christmas. And maybe that's just my opinion. Uh, and... That is just my opinion, obviously. If they want to rush it for Christmas, they could easily have just swapped the release dates or pushed everything to be out on the same day. Here's Diamond and Pearl for you guys, and here's Arceus. Shove it all into the same fucking day. Here you guys go. My other thing with it being released in 2022, yeah, it's pretty early into the year because, you know, we're in January when it's supposed to get released. I feel like they are more likely to push it back because if it was in November, they're not going to push back. They might push back by like a week. Well, that doesn't accomplish anything. Pushing it back by a week, that wouldn't accomplish shit. Even if they pushed it and released it on December 19th. Like, pushing it back that month doesn't mean fuck all. Let's, let's be honest here. How much can you get done on a game in like a month? So, the fact that they're pushing it back a couple of months, I can kind of appreciate. And makes it feel like they're not shoving it out to hit a Christmas rush. So I kind of appreciate that and it feels like it's more likely to be pushed back a little bit more if they need to. Now that's just an assumption that I'm making uh, and if you're worried about like a shorter development time, uh, just kind of remember that they already have assets or they should already have assets for the game from Sword and Shield. I watched the trailer before making this video. God, if that was our final fucking product, that was terrible. It looked... It was laggy, it was just, if that was our final game, which I've seen some people worried about, like, ew, <laughs> like quite frankly, fucking ew, it's ter it would be terrible, but I'm putting faith in it because it's going past Christmas, there's no, you know, there's not that push for the deadline, and I think there's more willingness to, you know, wait for it to be done properly. With the pre-made assets and stuff, just kind of think of it as being Breath of the Wild 2. The only difference is, I think Breath of the Wild 2 is just going to be bigger. So, the development time on it might be a little bit longer. I don't know, but this game, basically already, you have base models for shit. You don't have to remodel and remake everything. Is there going to be store for it? I don't fucking know. And with Diamond and Pearl, if you're worried about that having a shorter development time, just remember, they basically already have everything done for Diamond and Pearl. They have the entire story, the world. They don't got to come up with anything. They got all the Pokemon. They have everything done for it, basically. They just have to remake some models. I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic that the games are going to come out good. And like I said, I think the fact that they're pushing Arceus at least until 
January means that they're more willing to push it back further if need be. And it should come out solid. May this video might age like milk. And I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping the game does come out really well. But for people who are also worried about the game coming out poorly, just a reminder to pretty much everybody, there are tons of Poketubers on the platform that are going to be playing the game as soon as they can get their hands on it. You can get a great view and a great look at a game. There are people that are probably going to do sleep block stuff that are going to play through the entire game. You guys can get a perfect view and a perfect idea of the game before you put your money into it. Keep an eye out for that. If you're worried about it, keep an eye out for it. And I only recommend it because it can save you however much money it costs. I don't know what I did. It's $90 here, basically. It's like $70 in the States. So just keep that in mind as well if you're really, really worried about it. Uh, and especially with Nintendo not being good with the refund policy, I encourage people to wait. I know I'll be waiting until I see some footage of it and see what it looks like before I, you know, before I actually put my money into it. I feel a little obligated to buy it as I make Pokemon content, but you know, eh. <laughs> so just kind of final thoughts on it really quickly is I'm not overly stressed about it. They have everything they need to make these games good, in my opinion. And with Arceus specifically being pushed into next year, I feel like they're going to do what they can to make the game good. And if there's any stress, by the way, can we just talk about this really quickly? If there's stress about it, and if the game doesn't come out as good as we're all hoping, let's not pull the shit we did with Sword and Shield where we were like attacking developers and stuff and people that have no control over, you know, when a game gets released. That's not on them. That's up to the higher ups. So let's just kind of keep that shit in mind because that was, that was terrible. That was that was really bad. <laughs> like fucking Christ, guys, chill. It's it's a, it's a video game, All right? You get you guys get a free fucking view of it on YouTube and on Twitch and on fucking every video platform. You guys can get a free view of it to see if it's something you want to invest your money into. All right, let's let's chill a little this time. All right, guys, let's keep our keep your standards low if you're really worried about it. <laughs> Just keep them fucking low, please. I. All right. Anyways, um, that's all I really have to say about it. And let's be optimistic that this is, let's just stay optimistic. That's going to be good. Keep our hopes low, our, our expectations low. If you're really worried about it. Anyways, that's it. <laughs>